Okay, let's get started with the mission. I had to load actually and restart this because I had forgotten that the I had the suffering from the side effects, negative side effects of drug use. It'll happen when the bonuses run out. So I was heavily in the negative on many of the stats, so I just load uh, ran around in the desert for a few hours and then restarted the mission. Nothing happened between that. So you didn't miss anything of interest. Thank goodness you're finally here. Those dreadful savages have captured the mayor. She's being held in the large house in front of us. That building contains the warning siren for the town. If that siren sounds, the Beast Lords have threatened to kill all of their hostages. Understand that you must free Hillary first. As mayor, she's the only one with a key to disable the siren. But be careful. There are at least two savages in the same room with her. Uh, do you know anything more? The siren is on the roof of the building, but only Hillary has the means to turn it off. I had the key to the door where they're holding her, but the leader of the guards took it from me, and I'm sure he would have locked the door. Whatever you're going to do, you'll have to do it quickly and quietly. Yeah, that's the name of the game in this mission. I think I can afford to risk walking at least until we see red dots on the map. I can't actually walk here. So I have to go through the building. Yeah, a lot of their patrols, we will try to avoid them. Uh, cockroach corpses nothing of interest to us so the mayor is our primary target before doing anything else and we have to keep an eye on these alarms there's a ton of them it's really easy to miss and since we're playing in real time mode uh, what will actually happen in most combat if we haven't disabled those sirens or alarms that's the siren uh, the enemy will just ignore us and run to the alarm and ruin our day so uh, most of the time if I, we have disabled the alarm they will start just fighting us and that's what we, we really want so yeah <laughs> Yeah, they're all over the place. All over the place. This can, if you're not careful, this can go wrong real quickly. So, the mayor's been here. Locked door. Commander has the key. Disable the alarm first. We'll go behind his back, see if we can take him by surprise. We might not be, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, that went really well. We didn't really take any damage, we get some drugs. He and uh, he has a desert eagle. That's actually a very good weapon in this game. I don't think we'll try to clear it just downstairs. We'll go out the same way we came in. Again, we don't have to kill everything. And I think there are a few cars, some death gloves leaving there. So it's a use pain the ass in the encounter. So we will definitely be avoiding it. Even the mandatory encounters will be uh, quite a bit of trouble for us, so no point trying to get into more trouble. Thank you for the rescue. I understand that the Brotherhood is interested in forming an alliance with the people of Quincy. There are three more hostage situations, so let's make a deal. My daughter is being held in the town hall and being guarded by death claws. You must find a way to rescue her. If she dies, you might as well go back home. 
We have a number of townsfolk being kept in the room housing the power generator for Quincy. We need these people freed without destroying the machinery. Finally, Quincy's most experienced war hero, Felix Stiles, is being held inside the barracks. Rescuing him means a lot to me and the people of Quincy. Take this key to disable the siren. You have to do that first or this town is finished. I know this is asking a lot, but there aren't any other options. You best get started. Okay, an overview of the situation. He didn't include, or she didn't include all the hostage situations. There's one extra in the whorehouse and one with the ghouls. The power generator room has been rigged with explosives. The beast lords have threatened to detonate the explosives, destroying both the generator and our townsfolk if they suspect trouble. Yep. If they do this, I'll be out of office and the Brotherhood can look elsewhere for an alliance. Uh, basically, if they spot you, they start a 60 second timer. So it's a tricky for one man to pull off. My daughter Evita is being held in the town hall. There are death claws surrounding her, ready to tear her to shreds as soon as a beast lord gives the word. If you can find some way to distract the death claws or prevent the signal from being given, you should be able to save her. I was in labor for four days with her, so you'll understand how much she means to me. Yeah. Old Felix Stiles is being held inside the barracks. The Beast Lord Commander is there along with his bodyguards. You can expect a big fight. But there is another way into the compound. An escape tunnel lies between the town hall and the barracks. The entrance is in the back room of the town hall, and it leads into the inner building of the barracks, past the courtyard. I think that's about all she will say. Yeah, objective. Rescue Mayor's daughter, I think that's the only primary objective, but we'll try to solve all situation favorably. I think we'll also take a double dose of afterburner in this mission. It's going to be challenging enough, so I'm hoping that'll give us an edge here. Uh, Uh, maybe I'm still a bit divided about that because I might want to use a psycho and I'm afraid I'll overdose. I definitely want to use the psycho against death gloss. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, if we use the afterburners now, and it'll take some time to get to any death close. So it might be enough time for us to avoid getting overdosed. I'll make a save point here, something where we can turn, get back to if everything goes too bad. We'll be using the double afterburner tactic until we yeah here at dick at dick tech yeah double addicted it just means that we can't immediate we have to go exploring before then we do a mission after this because we will be getting heavy penalties for several days it shouldn't be uh, bother you any in any way. I certainly am not going to record me wandering aimlessly in the desert for a few days. Of course, unless we we'll get those special encounters, that's always an option, uh, and I certainly hope so. There are really three good special encounters, I think, for me, and we had one of them with the cows playing poker, so we get a ton of extra money ring pulls from them. The other one is uh, a lot of extra small energy cells and one is the extra point of endurance. Other than that, they can be beneficial but not really, really, really great. 
there are some traders that we could get in extra drugs and skill books, so we definitely hope we find them, but they're not that vital for what we're trying to do. Actually, I'm not sure I want to come here first. I'm sort of interested. I know there's a Metal Armor Mark II inspection, so I'm tempted to tr try to go there first. It's it's a tough place though, but if we get it, it'll make it may it'll make these high damage high risk high damage situations much more easier for us because the damage resistance is much higher. So actually, I think I'm not gonna go here. Fuck it. We already climbed in here, so might as well at least make an effort. Um, this is also one of the places I might use power armor. Ah, uh, goddamn power fist. 